Hi, my name is Mark Sisson with Michigan Biochar. Today is March 19th, 2011. It's been a cold winter here in Michigan. We still have snow on the ground. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start experimenting with our biochar um, planting season. So what I'm going to do is start us off growing tomatoes. So in this envelope I have some burpees, organic, uh, tomatoes, they're Roma tomatoes, and what we're going to do is we're going to try and experiment with the biochar that we make. Actually, I have some right here. This is some biochar we just made from our double barrel system just uh, a couple weeks ago. You can see we have some large chunks of biochar that we produced, and um, we're going to inoculate some of this potting soil with this biochar and we'll start to see probably in about two to three weeks if this really makes much difference um, this early in the growing season. So what I'll have to do in a few moments, I'll have to crush this up and we'll see how it works out. So this is how we're going to pull all this together. First of all, we have three different types of potting soil down here. The first one is miracle Grow Moisture Control Potting Soil. Um, obviously it's not organic. This has a mixture of slow release um, nutrients coming through the fertilizer that's in this miracle, miracle Grow Potting Soil. Scott's Potting Soil, they, they just have their own version of the same thing. And then last of all, miracle Grow has um, what's called the organic choice potting mix. This potting mix, um, it's got some slow re release natural fertilizers in it. I really don't know what that means, but we'll give it a try just to say we tried the commercialized organic side of this. And then, <clears throat> last of all, compliments of Baker's Green Acres in Marion, Michigan, we have some fresh compost, and what we're going to do is try some uh, seeds in this with and without biochar, just the same as what we're doing with these others. So what we're going to do is get started and I'm going to go ahead and crush up the biochar, get this down to a meaningful size for us so that we can fit it within these little planters and then um, we'll get these all divided up so that we'll have on each of these, one full row of miracle Grow potting soil. The second row will have the Scott's uh, Premium. Third one will have the miracle Grow Organic Choice. And the fourth one row will have seeds of our tomatoes in Baker's Green Acres compost. We're going to duplicate that process with the secondary tray using biochar in the mix. Now we're not going to be too concerned about what the mixture is, whether it's 50-50 compost or potting soil with biochar, or if it's 80-20 or whatever. What we want to do is start right off the gates to say, if I'm going to start uh, planters going with this, whether it's flowers, fruits, vegetables, whatever it may be, let's see what the uh, benefits that biochar may give to this potting soil or um, compost and see if it makes any difference at this stage. As we well know, it's been very well proven that later, whether it's in a greenhouse or if it's out in your garden, biochar with the right mixture creates a uh, <clears throat> society of organisms that actually has many different benefits from increased yield to better vigor and, and growth in the plants as well as uh, many other benefits that makes biochar uniquely different from fertilizing or from using these um, chemically inoculated potting soils. So ultimately that's going to be our test. We're going to take it from here. We're going to go ahead and move this out in the greenhouse in about three weeks and we'll watch the growth of these plants as we're going along and we will see from this point through the greenhouse phase right up to the point when we plant it out here in the garden, we're going to see exactly how well that 
our tomato plants will grow by using an infusion of biochar versus using other alternative methods such as composting and other methods. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and um, this is something by the way if you want to do experiments like this make sure mom's not at home. This can get you in a lot of trouble. Grinding biochar over the top of a, a white or a tanned carpet can put you in the doghouse. So buyer beware. So, what I'm going to do uh, with this freshly made biochar, um, I'm just going to, rather than worrying about grinding this up, I'm just going to go ahead and just crush it up with my hands. It's really not that important if um, you grind it up or if it's in just larger chunks. The main features of biochar is the fact that it has all of those micro, micro um, pores that allows all of the uh, compost and the uh, protozoa and the nematodes and all these different creatures to create their own little uh, society and to expand on it inside of this these little micropores or I, I call them housing for the living beings and the beneficial nutrients and uh, microbes and stuff like that and I'm already dropping biochar on the carpeting. So what I'm going to do just going to go ahead and uh, just grind this up. Warning, do not do this at home on your own without supervision of parents. Um, this biochar was made from feedstock that uh, varied in size from thin uh, pieces of wood to very w small thin wafer-like pieces of wood. It just grinds up quite easily in your hand. This is plenty good enough for what we're looking to accomplish right here. And you have the larger pieces right here. When you get a really good um, charge like this, we've got biochar that has gone through all the different stages. Um, none of this is torrid. This is truly 100% pure biochar. And we can take thick pieces of wood and you can grind it down until you're down to a fine powder like that. So that's all we need to do. And uh, what I'm going to do is continue to grind this up, which will take me a few minutes. And then we'll continue on showing the benefits and how we actually pull all this together to uh, complete the uh, potting process for these Roma potato, uh, tomatoes. Mark Sisson with Michigan Biochar. Now we're pretty much ready to move forward. What I did, potting our um, tomatoes, I went ahead and I, I ground up the uh, biochar by hand. You can see some of this, you can grind it up pretty fine. I obviously had to grind it up very fine so that I could get it into the mixtures. <coughs> so, what I'm going to do now as I had mentioned earlier in the first segment, we're looking at these different experiments without and with biochar. And we'll watch to see how uh, these tomato plants come along. What we have here is miracle Grow potting soil. We have Scott's potting soil. We have miracle Grow organic choice. And then we have some <clears throat> compost from uh, Baker's Green Acres in Marion, Michigan. Over here we have the same setup. We've got the same four ingredients. But what we did, <clears throat> I included 50% approximately biochar into each one of these mixes. And what we're going to do is watch the growth of these tomato plants um, yes, next I actually do have to plant the seeds now and then I'll be done. Um, we'll watch the growth of these uh, plants and we'll go ahead and transplant them as they get larger over into larger pots over in the greenhouse and then again outside later on. What I do suspect is early on <clears throat> you will not probably see an appreciable difference between the uh, first batch and the second batch of biochar. The reason why I say that is 
This side with the miracle Grow and the Scott's Pot and Soil, these are charged with fertilizers that's actually going to make the plants spring up to life um, probably just as vigorously, if not possibly even more, than uh, these samples over here with biochar in them. Later on though, as we transplant them to the larger pots and then eventually outside, what we're going to see over time is the tomato plants that have been has been planted with biochar will see an appreciable growth and vigor to the plant and the uh, tomatoes will grow larger and healthier and um, you'll see a, a very large difference. Uh, the, the major point we want to make with this biochar all natural you mix biochar with compost and plant that out in your garden you're not dealing with fertilizers you're not dealing with anything that's unnatural first and foremost but secondly what you're looking at by implementing biochar in your garden or out on your farm um, you will have an all-natural way of having incredible natural growth that fertilizer cannot keep up with and as a result you will have a uh, production of plants that will give you all natural food uh, that's much better quality and much larger than when you get with fer fertilizers and again with fertilizers going up in price as the uh, petroleum costs keep going up you'll see that clearly with the cost of biochar um, involved in your uh, garden is actually a win-win financially for you as well so it's a great win-win deal better deal financially and a better deal organically and better for Mother Earth and better for the recipients. We'll uh, see how things go.